Tiger Tape. Larry David. For Dr. Lynch. Melissa Winokur or Winokur? Marissa. Oh, yeah. that'll that'll do it. Yeah. Winokur. Right, that's here. First door on the left. Yeah, I'll come in to see you in just a minute. Great, thanks. You're welcome. Excuse me. Okay. Could you please tell me what time that uh, woman's appointment was for? Miss Winokur, it's 11:45. Well, she's after me. She's supposed to be after me. Well, she I'm signed 11... in before you, sir. I'm 11.30. She's 11.45. Why aren't I going I know, sir, but she was here first. She signed in first, so we saw her. Here first? And my appointment is for 11.30. Well, sir, it was just a and few minutes before you. A few you. minutes? She's... There's no need to get upset. We have a policy in this office that you were seen as you signed in. That's what is the it? What is it, like a bakery? You, you, pick, you pick a number and the first number yes, goes? Yes, basically, it's first come, first serve. So why don't you, why don't you, you just have a little like. ticket? We can all take numbers instead well, of even... Why do you even give out the appointments? In. You don't even sir, need appointments. Just calm down, please. No, you seriously, were... for this policy, you don't need appointments. Sir, the policy of the office is you are seen as you come in. That way we see as many patients as possible in a given day. That makes sense, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense well, at I all. Well, I understand. You're probably having a bad day. You're I'm in not... pain, but that is the policy of this office. Do you understand well, this policy? Please don't talk to her. She's busy. I get it. It's no Swiss picnic for me either. Do you hear that? <laughs> Unbelievable. This is their policy, okay? First come, first serve. It's unbelievable. Did you hear any of that? Huh? Yeah, no, we heard it. We just feel like it's not really necessary to comment at this particular time. No comment until the time limit is up. It doesn't matter what time your appointment is for, anybody who comes in ahead of you gets your spot. That's how they do it here. I'm telling you. What? What do you have to say? Nothing? What? Can't talk? People at doctor's offices can't talk? Is that a rule or something? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry to bother you, but you know, I did a nice thing for you. I held the elevator for you so you can get on first. Right, and thanks. then I was a gentleman and I let you out. Right. Okay, and you came down the hall. You wouldn't let me get by you. You knew I, I was. I wouldn't let you get you by me. You wouldn't let me get by me. And then you signed in ahead of me. Well, I was and then here you, before you. Of course I signed in ahead Yeah, but my appointment was for 11 30. Yours for 11 45. Okay. Yeah. You know what, what time my appointment was? Yeah, I do know. What were you doing? What time my appointment was? What were you doing in there anyway for 40 minutes? What's go what, what was going on in there? What were you chatting? Talking about old times? What was that? Huh? You know, it's not right. You're in a doctor's office. Don't, don't chit-chat. Don't ask him how his day was. You don't chit-chat. You do, you, you know, let him examine you, you go out. Mr. Dov, <laughs> Lurie Dov. That's Larry David. Mr. David, the doctor will see you now. Oh, wow. That's very special, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Yes, it's been quite a nice time. Right here, room four. Oh, uh, what's this, another half hour now?